It's the halfway stage, uh, mid-session interval. Judd Trump uh, got off to a bad start, but currently leads 3-1. Just needs three more frames to book his place in tomorrow's final. You can probably see Judd practising over our shoulder. Uh, I'm joined by Neil, Ronnie and Jimmy. Um, you might have seen the table is set up for a shot, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. That was from frame one. But um, let's talk to you first, Neil, about the first four frames. Um, didn't start off too well for Judd. It looked like he needed yeah. a bit of warming up, but um, he did. got going in the end. It's a great lead for him. Yeah, I mean, frame one, obviously, which we'll come to, but Barry did make a good break in the end, and how it started, well, we've been in, uh, divided on that one. But uh, in frame two, Judd did warm to the task a little bit. He's on a winning run of 13 matches, and he must be feeling very confident. But now this plant, the problem here, you don't know whether the pink is in the way of the two reds. I think that's what Judd, he knows they're set, but if the pink's in between the reds, then the reds are going to just throw off at a strange angle. But he's like a plant doctor at the moment. He's knocking in every plant uh, going this week, and he's able to read them quickly. And that one was one that the Pink could have played a part because he, he's knocked it in and he's great at creating opportunities. So once the pink didn't move, it wasn't in the way and it was basically frame over. And this is a ready pot. The frame's done just about 36 in it. And he really wants this red, but this is the, the sort of the clean potting that he's capable of. I mean, there's no way in the world that's an easy shot. You can't even see the pocket. But he's so dangerous, you can't keep him out. Mm. And unfortunately, in frame three, Barry couldn't keep him out. He made a bad safety mistake, and Judd knocked in a break of 88 from that. And uh, he led 2 1, and all of a sudden, the Judd and is starting to rock and roll. In frame four, <sighs> It was a frame, really, that, that Barry could have won. It was a disappointing shot here that he missed, Ronnie, which was followed by a brilliant shot of Judd's. Yeah, 34 up here. Just, you know, he's just got to pot this black. You can't miss this black and go into the reds. And, um, yeah, it's just fatal, especially in the semi-finals, the stage of the tournament, playing Judd. You know, you've really got to be nailing them opportunities. And he's had a few early in the match. And I think the difference is, is that um, when you don't take them chances against Judd, he's such a, Judd's such a predator that he's going to find a way to get back in the match. And I don't think Judd's played brilliant at his best, but was, he's... This is frame over, sorry, Ronnie, isn't it? But like, I was break over here, isn't it, until he cuts Yeah, I mean, it, this red's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, we, we weren't even thinking that he'd go for it. I mean, because if he misses it, he leaves it up. And then he's gone for this yellow, he misses his yellow, hits it a little bit hard, I think. You know, he could have stroked it in a bit. But he's getting good whites, even if he misses that yellow. Look, look where his white is, it's not an easy yellow. This green is, like, um, just over the hole for him, really. And that was, of course, match ball. Jimmy, let me ask you, he, he got off to a great start, Barry Hawkins, and he was close to winning the second to make it 2-0. Do you think that might have been his opportunity to not kill the match, but certainly uh, you know, take a great stranglehold on it? And, of course, he didn't do that, and back comes Judd. And now, I wouldn't say maybe the, the game's out of his reach, but certainly his chances of doing what he could have done had he led 2-0 are so much more. Absolutely. A good point. He was 1-0 up, Hawkins. Trump was a bit cold. He was missing all sorts of safety shots and pots. And uh, he had a great chance to go 2 new up Hawkins. And yeah. uh, he's not been that confident all week. He's grown with confidence. But to be 3-1 down when you should have been 2-0 uh, up and missing balls like after yeah. the spot against Trump, you're in big trouble. OK. There was one moment um, in the first frame that's divided the four of us. Me and Jimmy think one thing and Ronnie and Neil think the other. This is the shot. So, Neil, I'll let you take over and you explain what's happened. OK. Well, look, he sizes... What's he doing here? This is a thing. What's he looking at? And is he looking at knocking the red in off the pink? And if he does, he gets on the black and he goes on to create a winning frame opportunity, which he did. Now, I think he played it. I know the commentators in the box, Phil and Mike, didn't think so. Um, it's a brilliant shot of you. Now, where's the, where's the hand coming up and saying sorry because it's a flute as well? So Ronnie, you the think he went for it as well, Ronnie? Yeah, it's only because of the body language before it. He was looking, you know, he was looking and he think, well, what's he looking at? Is there a pot on there? And he's obviously studied that long enough to try and pot a ball, I think, because he could have hit the other side of the pink with the red and the red would have gone over there and he could have got the white back here. But he's got the white on the black. It looks like, to me, it looks like he's gone okay. for it. So you both think he's gone for it. I yeah. don't think he did. But more importantly, Jimmy, you don't think he went for it either. Why is that? Um, because if you can show the shot... We can, yeah, of course we can. We can set that up. <laughs> Right. First and foremost, he leaves the left in the red red pocket, and uh, the way he's hit it, he's hit it so bad that all of a sudden he's just gone with the shot. You know, I thought, well, it might be going in here, so I'll just wait for a second. But he doesn't know. He's hit it so soft. The, the, see, the white, he's left the red in the middle. Okay. He's played it. I, I, I'll show you how I think he okay, played well, it. Well, we, we've set it up, Jim. So you're not going to try and recreate what he did. No, I'm going to... You're yeah. going to do what you think he tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit nearer. 
Well, yeah, but I can't. You've just made it light and Sorry. the pollet in the end. What's that? OK. Then? <laughs> so, Jimmy, you're playing what you think he should have played or he was going to play. Is well, right? I, this is what I think he plays. OK. Right. OK, and then Ronnie's going to have a go at trying to recreate the pot, actually, yeah, as well. It's a really next. difficult so, shot either way, isn't it? It's... That's what you think he played. He played Well, I didn't hit that good, but I think he played a snooker. So get behind the black. OK. Uh, Ronnie, you get back in position. You happy with that? And there's the red for you. And there's the green. OK. See, the one, while he's setting that up, Jim, the one, the one reason what it could persuade you that he did go for it, because when the white's coming back off that cushion, yeah. it's going to go round about here, which could leave that red into the middle. That's the only... So, Ronnie, you're going to try and pop this off the pink. Is that right, Ron? Yeah. OK. It's not That's a natural far. enough, like, actually, you, is it? Yeah, you, you want to leave Ronnie O'Sullivan that red no, in the middle yeah. or Trump. But what you? I'm saying is if oh, he would have... Oh, arguing. Yeah, but if you'd if, if you have played to get that red safe, bring yeah. that red back, this is what I think he would have played. Put the pink a bit more over to the green, where it was. Why didn't he just play this? If so he this wanted, is... If he didn't if go he for wanted, it, why no, didn't he No, if he, he wanted to this? get it safe, he'd have just done this. Hit, hit the red to there. Yeah, but why? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Why, why even so hit the pink? Back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No point. Yes, go on good in. point. But why yes. not? But maybe he's played maybe he's played this shot, which I haven't got right yet. I'm trying to snooker him here. Hey, let you pot it, Jim. So yeah. gimme. Jim, so was that a fluke? That's the right Jim, shot. Jim, was that was that a fluke? It was a fluke, yeah. yeah see? <laughs> the thing so, is, what if? Barry Hawkins says I played it. Well, then Jimmy let it lie or not? What happens then if he says I Jimmy, played it? Do you the believe shot, if Barry says I played it? Will you believe him? We'll have to ask Barry. But if he says I did, will you believe him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay. Um, boys, just very quickly, it's a three run at the interval. Um, still all to play for, Jimmy. I mean, it's far from over, isn't it? it, it this next frame's. Um... Massive. I, I know it's best of 11, but unless Barry wins this frame with a sizeable break, I don't think he, he can win. OK. Um, Jimmy's going to go and hunt down Barry Hawkins to find the answer to that. If we get it, we'll let you know. Uh, join us in just a moment, of course, for the finale of our first semi-final. We will see you in a moment.